What is up, guys? Uh, Mega GX, and uh, we are back with another video. You know, I I I promised that I would make another video. Uh, we have the uh, official, the new DX set. It comes with, you know, King Helios and Super Hyperion MR. If you're wondering why this thing feels so low. It is because I have just recently got this package. I was wondering what was taking so long for this. But we also have something that's that's not really for the main attraction, but uh, Belial 3 core, you know, with the new Nexus. And a special, special old, old driver. Well, not really old, but um, bearing drift driver, you know. Also, we get the cool new H gear. Uh, I hear people say it's not compatible with, with Divine. Well, actually, no. It's not compatible with uh, Dynamite or um, Dangerous. But I'm not really sure about that. I'm thinking maybe it's because they don't have the armor that is used for it. But we will try that later. Hold on. I need to go grab the... Uh... I will be right back, guys. I need to go grab the uh, two bays that I'm going to need to try this H gear on. Alright, I'm back. So, we are going to try the H gear on... You know, Dynamite and Divine. Of course, we know Divine's going to work on it. Uh, we also have New Launcher, you know. Uh, Hyperion and Helios theme. Kind of cool. Uh, oh, yeah. So, before we start with this video, uh, if you guys would please leave a like and subscribe to this channel. I will be trying to post even more content than before. So, thank you very much, guys, for this video. Can we please at least get 10 likes, and that'll be all. So, if you don't know, Divine Belio, we, we came, we, we got with, uh, they, they gave us a, uh, A-Gear. Now, if you don't know, A-Gear is for Zest Achilles. Well, it, it means Zest Achilles. If you just, you know, I people see, I see people line it up like this. It's like complete. You see how that hole's there for? That part apparently is for the F gear. If you want to put F gear on here, and something cool that I found out that I've been using a lot. If if you like just move it, like if you just if you just like turn it, like I think this way. If you turn it this way. It should. There we go. That's how you, that's how the bay gets more even circular. So that's kind of cool. Um, I do actually want to try the new H gear on here, but first let's unbox. Where is it? The launcher. Because this is the main part that I want to do first before we actually hold on to the bays. So let me just. Do I not? No, oh, hold on. Let me go get scissors. So got this. Ow! Got my scissors. So. It's kind of cool. I also noticed when I was opening it that it, it, it feels heavier. It, it literally feels somewhat heavier than what the normal launchers would be. And this also feels a lot heavier than what your normal launcher would be because of that bearing. There's some sort of bearings on here that add a whole lot of weight, which is kind of cool. So, put this in. We got our, you know, oh wow, wait a second, it's using this fine black lining, well, line, well, string, fine black string, to have, so I guess it's for more durability, so the string doesn't break easily. So, now, for the next two main attractions, Helios and Hyperion. Of course, we should probably do stickers, because, you know, stickers are needed for this. So, let's open up the stickers. Stickers, stickers, stickers. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. So, it's our stickers. Right there. And I'm pretty sure the blue, purple, red is for H gear. These are for Helios. I think these are for Helios. No, these are for Hyperion. And these ones are for Helios. Let's go. It's kind of cool. So, uh, instructions. Uh, who, who, who really needs these instructions, honestly? I don't really. Oh, cool. Yo. Wait, what? 
Oh yeah, because metal, because MR, Hyperion MR, Helios MR, it's, those stand for metal rubber. So let's see. I have seen a lot of them. A lot of these people. Uh, they've said that you know it's it, it because of the metal piece on one part of Helios and Hyperion, they both also get a different weight distribution, giving the bay a very unbalanced structure. So, yeah, I think this is, yep, this is, uh, this is Explosion. We, we get, we finally get a new driver. Well, technically not new, but eh, somewhat new. Um, I can see that there are some, like, tornado-like features on there, and that rubber too it gives it that round feature and it got that free spinning gimmick as well on the tip so hyperion um forgot what this one is but it did come on faf wait no it didn't come on fafnir uh actually no i'm pretty sure it did it came on Mer on uh vanish and uh i've seen phoenix um I, I forgot what the disc name was so yeah uh we also have this for hyperion then we have Hyperion MR. This is all it. This is all that is. Um, let's take it apart. You know. So we got that cool armor, and of course. Oh wow. <gasps> okay. Okay. I can kind of see how they did this now. Okay. So if I just, I think it's what this way or this way. Which way is it? This way? Okay. So, this way, and uh, now we got rubber, metal. Cool. I will do stickers in a bit. I just have to figure... How do I put this thing back on? <gasps> oh, okay. So, I kind of understand it now. If I can close it. There we go. Alright, cool. Armor with it. Hyperion, look, looking kind of fancy. I can kind of see that armor right there. Looks like it came from uh, Lucius or Lucifer. Uh, kind of like, I kind of like it. A lot of red, nice. It's not too much red, but there is enough red and there's some gold. Pretty sure the avatar is gonna have some gold armor too, looking like a piglin. Uh, but that's cool. Other than that, that's cool. Um, Helios, let's go. Now, since these bays are going to have a heavy and lighter side, let's look at the other one. I forgot what this one is, too. But, oh, wow. Since it's a balance type, it, they gave it that rubber, somewhat like a rubber ball feeling. And another free spinning, just like Heli uh, Hyperion. Let's go. All right. Uh, not too, not nothing too special. Two discs, not too special, but it does feel a little heavier. But that is fine. We also have Helios MR, uh, just the same like uh, Hyperion, but blue and different. So uh, Helios also has that uh, Lucifer uh, like part here. Uh, Iron armor, you know, cool, cool. Now, for the other one, the final piece. The piece that actually looks kind of cool. Well, aside from Hyperion and Helios, those two are amazing. These two, are, these stuff is amazing too. So, bearing drift driver. Long spinning. I bet if I just, wait. Wait, if I just, I bet you just like do that and it just, see, it just does that forever. Holy, this could actually work for a stamina combo like Fafnir, like Vanish Fafnir to get better LAD. Okay, life after death. Uh, Nexus, nothing new, nothing new parts aside from the new bearing drift. And then we have, boom, the Belio 3 core. Well, Divine Belio. With uh, the Kunu armor that allows you to use H gear. So, if you don't know what H gear is, um, it's essentially this. Can I not? Wait. Oh, wait. I forgot. I have to. Wait. Do I have to? What? Okay. I do not understand this thing. Wait. Do I have to, like, pull this out first and then? Yeah. Okay. There. So, 
if you don't understand what H gear is, this is H gear. And if you see, there are these tiny holes here. Now, we finally understand what they are. It's for H gear. H gear essentially just Wait a second. It, it essentially fills in those holes. See, those holes are now filled with the, uh, wait, are they? Oh, wait, they are not filled. Holy, wait, what? Okay, never mind, guys. These, these holes are not filled. Huh. And, so, if you want to do low mode, you just put this on here, essentially. Hold on. Yeah, if you want low mode. Put it like that. High mode, I've been hearing that it gives it a lot of good burst resistance because the bay and this, they, they just, you know, go together. And when you try, they, they, they fill in that little gap and it gives it that hard, like, friction part. So that gives the bay, you know, lots of stuff. So, um, nothing really that new. Um, the only thing I could probably consider new is the drift driver, which I know this is going to probably change the meta for a Beyblading for a while. Holy, I cannot get enough of that. Okay, so, H-Gear, cool. What I do want to know is if it can fit here. Now, people have been saying, oh, it's not going to be able to fit on here. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> and probably not, because it probably could fit on there. We just have to... I need you... Oh, wait, okay. I see now. I see now. Okay. I finally find it. I figured it out. The armor is what's filling in the holes. The reason why it won't be able to fit in the in dynamite is because it, the dynamite does not have any holes. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, people were right. <laughs> it's not going to fit in there because the two holes that Divine has the the, the holes that Divine has uh, dynamite and dangerous Belial do not have that, so it's kind of sad, but that's fine. Stickers, I'm gonna do them. Um, transition, please. All right, divine Belial done. Now it's time for the next one. All right, Hyperion's done. Well, I mean, Helios is done. Next is Hyperion, which is gonna be much easier to do. All right, Hyperion's done, and Helios is done, and the new Divine Belial. So, there we go. We have the three bays. So, oh, my boy. My boy moving. Okay, so, H-Gear. It's kind of cool. So, we, so, Divine Belial, H-Gear with Nexus, um, bearing drift, Hi um, King Helios, Giga Zeal, and then Super Hyperion, Tampered Explosion. So this is, these are the combos for these bays. Of course, if you put these parts together or differently, one would be Super K Super King Hyperion. And Super King Helios, which uh, kind of is kind of a reference to a uh, sparking. So it's kind of cool, kind of cool. You know, one thing I do hope is that someday we get a new Lucius or Lucifer. Uh, I did know I know about the uh, new uh, gears. That there's a new gear that's gonna be coming out, the VS gear. So there we go. The forever spinning tip. Uh, it's forever spinning. So, that that's how the, uh, we also noticed that, I also noticed while, uh, putting on stickers, it has the BU locks. So, the bay was already tough enough with the, uh, burst lock, but now the bay is even stronger. So, this is gonna be a hard thing to burst. Oh my god, why can I never take, a okay, there we go. So, take off the H gear. That is, uh low mode. Now we're going to go into high mode for uh, Belial. Now, if you noticed, high mode's kind of different because 
you have this. So, when this base together, this is cool. Um, each gear actually puts some burst resistance in there. Because, uh, if you see, it, it makes contact with it, which gives it that hard, you know, power. So, watch. Listen to the click. Two, three. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's hard to, like, take it off. And, oh my god, bro, this reminds me of uh, Dangerous Belial because how chunky it is. Of course, uh, I don't really like the color scheme of too too much gold. I, I, I can kind of understand it because, you know, um, apparently Belial can go hyperflux. Apparently. So, uh, let's take you off. There we go. Each gear can come off. Take you off. Of course, we're taking our Belial. And the reason why I'm, t I'm switching the cores out is number one, I, I really don't like it when bays are like this. And this red piece just really seems like it could go well with this gold. So, of course, we don't need that armor no more. As we are going to be using which armor? This different armor which you know it's gonna give the bay a whole lot power so we're changing things of course we're also gonna be using this belial uh belial three core so it's kind of nice you know we, we get we get more upgrades and stuff and can i not wait can i not uh okay is it okay there we go then if i just Boom, then we go put H gear on. Boom. A nearly perfect gear Belial with Nexus. Uh, well, Adventure, Nexus, A gear, H gear, and Belial 3 core. So this bay is already like hard to beat. So now, now this bay is even stronger and harder to beat. Of course, it's gonna, in cost, it's gonna be a little lower. Uh, the weight is gonna be a little uh, less. But of course, that's fine as we get, you know, a better, a better lock because this one, its BU locks aren't that good. Uh, the BU clicks or something, teeth or something. I don't know. Anyways. Put the, let's put that, and you, boom, Belial 2 core with Nexus and uh, Bearing Drift, we have Super Hyperion, Zeal, I mean, not Zeal, uh, Tampered Explosion, King Helios with Giga and Zeal, so, Balance Type, Attack Type, uh, I, I guess you're an attack type so yes and with the launcher as well I will do test battles probably in, in the sooner sometime but right now I'm gonna enjoy these bays of course uh, so I'll see you guys next time I really guys hope you guys loved this unboxing or liked it at least uh, I really wish to do more unboxings there is another uh, video on Lego Calva Bell. Uh, it's already done. I, I just need to post it and finish it. Fi do some a little fixing on a little bit. Uh, and yeah. So. See you guys next time. Bye.